We're here right now at the PICC for the National Seafarers Day Job Fair. I don't have a pass to enter, so I'm, I would have gone online for about three hours or something like that. If not for my bang made here. Hi. <laughs> Thanks a lot, she's going to get me in. So it worked, we got in. Thank you, man. <laughs> the Day of the Seafarer is an International Observance Day spearheaded by the IMO or International Maritime Organization. It is celebrated globally every 25th of June as a tribute to the millions of seafarers around the world in recognition of their vital contribution to the world economy by facilitating seaborne trade. In our everyday lives, we use a lot of things like our phones and computers, we ride cars which use fuel, or we eat food which is not grown locally. A lot of us take these things for granted, but in truth, we enjoy these things because seafarers work very hard just to deliver these goods to our local markets. The idea of a seafarer's day was conceived during the Manila Amendments Conference, which adopted major revisions to the STCW Convention in June 2010. The date June 25 was chosen mainly because it was the day that the amendments were formally adopted. Hence, the Day of the Seafarer was first celebrated in 2011. In the Philippines, simultaneous events were held around the country in celebration of the Seafarer's Day. In Manila, the organizers decided to stage a job fair in order to make it a bit easier for seafarers to find prospective employers. A good number of the booths representing major crewing agencies were handing out application forms.
Philippine Navy and Philippine Coast Guard also had their own booths for those who might be interested to sign up for service. There were also booths representing training centers which gave good discounts to training courses medical clinics which gave free checkups, maritime schools which gave out application forms to those who might have relatives who are interested in a maritime career, and there were also some booths representing groups which promote their advocacy in helping seafarers by whatever means, including spiritually. As I have shown earlier, there was a very long queue for entering the job fair. This caused a lot of seafarers to back out and just go home because they didn't want to stand in line for many hours. I myself almost backed out and was already decided to go home. Good thing I saw a junior of mine whose group had a booth inside. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made a vlog about this. So if any of the organizers are watching this, it might be best to hold future job fairs in a bigger location so as not to discourage potential applicants. It's 1500 hours and as of last count, there were about 4,400 attendees who registered. But there are obviously a lot of people who did not register who were inside the tent including me I did not register as well but more or less I could call this event a success it was actually the first time for a job fair like this to be organized during seafarers day and based on the number of attendees yeah we did call this event was a success and hopefully they could organize more events such as this to help our seafarers and make it easier for them to find a job or find a company which will hire them <music>